Okay, so yeah, once you've got all this sorted, we're ready to um, just cut out this area around here where these large windows are going to go. Uh, so looking at my reference image, if we start looking at these sort of three windows there on this side, um, I know just because of the way that I've been working, um, sort of extruding in stages, I've got all of the edges that I need in there where exactly where those windows are going to be, which is there. Grand. So I can just get those, get the ones on the other side. Uh, yeah, and then bridge for it through like we did with all the rest of the windows. Okay, because now I have that extra elevation. Um, it's nice and easy. Uh, same here. So I already did actually cut out a, one part of it, which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, you know, because now I could have just selected those and gone through all in one go, but now it's kind of broken up. Um, so it's going to need some just repairing, uh, which I guess is good to show uh, how I'll do that. But first things first. So we know that that whole section of window isn't all just a big square. Um, there is actually a slope there which runs parallel to the slope of the roof. And I don't have those edges in the detail of my model. So I'm going to have to cut those in. Um, so I'm going to go back to this front view again. Uh, and you can probably guess how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back to my edge mode. And I'm going to get that old quick slice out again. Um, which, if you just started using quick slice before, you probably hate it already. But um, yeah, I want to just do a slice sort of slightly below the line of the roof there. Um, so that's going to give me the edges for the top of that window. Okay, so what I might actually do is just turn quick slice off a second, just select the edge at the top of there, just so that I can see. Okay, no, no, ignore me. <laughs> um, let's just get our quick slice and let's just get this in. So it's about around here. So it's just so it's parallel with the, the slope of the roof. That should be fine. Let's come back to my model again. Um, and then what I can do is go to polygon. And now when I select these polygons where this window is, I have that nice slope. All right. But I can actually see, thinking about it, do I want my windows to come high? Have I not done my windows high enough? No, I have. I think I've just done my quick slice too high. That's fine part of the process so I'm going to undo all that get rid of that quick slice and try again so I actually want it to be a lot lower down I actually want it to sort of start from this corner and that's about parallel how do we feel about that That's going to leave my windows there. I think it's slightly lower than I would have wanted because that line should really match up with the corner of this window over there. It's a bit lower than I'd have wanted. Okay, I'm going to undo it. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> This is, I guess it shows the process and probably the process that your guys are going to be doing as well. Um, so I'm going to get quick slice back. And so I don't want it to be there, I do want it to be a bit higher. I want it to go from the corner of these windows parallel. So it makes sense to do it that way. That would leave me with that being my window, which looks nice also leave me with this kind of section up here also needing to be bridged through got a tiny little sliver there so let's just bridge that Ooh, okay it doesn't like that let's just delete it instead okay Okay, I'm happy with that. And then here I can do the same thing. Bridge that through. 
that's fine. So obviously, you know, because I did it in stages there, um, you kind of see saw this happen over here, where I had to delete it instead of bridge. And I've got this, which I don't want, so I'm going to delete that. Um, it's not really caused me too much of an issue on this side. Um, but you can see here that this side is missing polygons now, because I've had to delete it instead of bridge. So I'm just going to have to manually come through here and do some bridging. But I've got some edges that are different on both sides, which is a bit annoying. This is really annoying, this little slither. Do you get these issues when you're using this quick slice technique? Let's bridge that. Bridge that. Bridge that again, and you know, this might end up being a bit of a long video, but it shows you the, the process when you get problems like this and how to fix it. Bridge those, leaves me again that little slither on this side, which is there, and right in there. There we go. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We eventually have. <laughs> A nice cut out section for where these windows are going to be. Um, you probably actually, again, thinking this through, you're not going to want these uh, bits there. Make sure that's all clean. Okay. Because obviously, this the windows uh, kind of line up with the the door as they do on the, the reference image. Great. So now, um, if I get my windows that I created from before, so I'm just going to shift and drag that along to make another copy. Um, line that right up against the edge of there. Um, we can use these windows again. So that's uh, showing my end result there. And, and just adjust these. So I'm going to bring that down to the floor. That's fine. And when it comes to, uh, if I shift and drag up the, the higher ones, move that down to match. Into the vertices, show my end result. I'm going, what I can do, so obviously they need to be sloped as well. We don't need to do any quick slicing or anything fancy like that. All we need to do is to select the vertices on one side um, and lower it, select the vertices on the other corner and uh, lift that up. Okay. Um, you know, it's to, to create that, that's like, you obviously do the same for, for the others, okay? So I won't do all that now, but you, you get the idea, you, you've done it with these windows, we're just gonna, so we'd have three windows there, and then four windows on there. And again, on the next video, I'll have those done.